it's, it's right for us acknowledge uh, such opportunity which lays uh, a side of ours. It's right to use all, all our power, ability, skills, um, energy, uh, diploma, um, colleges, everything put together and establish good, right, prosperous, prosperous life but where when we are limited it's right to come in the Sunday morning to be plugged in in the family of God in fellowship with God to use what is above as we today cannot think even life without electricity with, without power even even child today can push the button and things can be moved heavy weight can be can can, can be replaced in different di different direction because of power of energy is so important for us we are privileged people not just live reliant on our personal abilities uh, muscles, brain, but to come in church, deeply understand character, uh, nature of our Father, Creator of God, and it's uh, so important in prayer to know it. Who is our God? In Deuter Deuteronomy. 28, uh, beginning of the chapter, God sh clearly showed for us who is, who is he, what, what is his thoughts toward us, his desire, how he openly desired to offer for us things. And he promised for us there. It's, I, I think we don't have time to to read it right now, because over there is 14 verses. But uh, when you go to home, read it carefully. And he promised over there, if you will listen my words, follow me, serve me, hear my, 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 my advices, my standards, I will, I will um, make you great nation and put you above all nations. And you will be above, uh, you will be un always on top. It's unbelievable promises of God. That the God opened him his heart and share with, with, his, with his desire, with his plan toward us. Secondly, because of sin, tra tragedy happened. And last Wednesday, our youth pastors preached about flood, which happened uh, in the day of Noah. And uh, that flood is requirement requirement of justice. We, we all are such a people, we want justice. When somebody hurt us, deceive us, li uh, lie us, or steal something from us, or kill some uh, somebody of our relatives, or bring some destruction. We such a people that we require justice. We do not require justice where we are wrong. We require something something else, but where we are are wronged. We require justice. Uh, but God is just. And when sin came in the world, God didn't have other choice because power of sin bring, brings death. 
You don't have choice. If you do not kill sin, sin will kill you. That's, that's the truth. And there, is, there was no way to co co cohabitate together, to live together. Sin and, and righteousness, sin and life cannot be together. And that's why God, on the beginning, tried to solve problem of sin, to kill sin, to destroy sin, bringing flood on earth and punishing humanity. But during the process of flood, people were killed, evil people were killed, but, but sin still went through the through the flood in the end of the flood when noah and his family uh, le uh, left the the um, ark god discovered that still that same sin nature through the flood of noah went through and came out again and god met god met noah Talk with him, and and he said, "I am really sorry. That's not my joy. That's not my happiness to punish people, humanity. But there is, but there was not a other choice. And as a promise, as a exit way out, he told Noah." In the future, I will do not do flood again. When clouds, dark time will come. Flight, uh, uh, molni, light. light, lighting, and sounding will come. It looks like judgment is coming again. If some of you were on the sea, big river or ocean, if you see that's massive of waters you can clearly see you are absolutely powerless before this this massive when flood came everything was destroyed when katrina came big trucks cars buildings uh ships everything was destroyed that the that the shows shows as as a judgment and God promised that clouds, rain, storm, uh, tornado will come. Because this, this is the judgment. God cannot blind his eyes on sin. But in these clouds, he put he put. Uh, rainbow and 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 promise to to Noah this this rainbow is covenant and for us today is clear we have to see today for us our pain suffering diseases uh, calamities shortages many 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 uh, suffering in our life is a result of sin. It's a result when protection of God taken away, where we deliver place of safe, safety because of sin and devil, diseases, demons, bondages, curses, flooding our life. And that is justice. We, de we deserve, maybe not we personally, but in our generation somebody. That's these testimonies when demon enter person in womb of the, of the, of the mother, that's infant absol absolutely do not deserve your disease, your shortage, bankruptcy, your, your problem. Maybe you do not earn it, but in generation, Somewhere people left the 
safety place. People turn back to God. Uh, people uh, uh, came to some, some kind of witchcraft. And judgment of God. If God will not kill sin, sin will kill heaven. That is true. And God found solution. All guilt of humanity, sin, lay on, a, on his son, Jesus Christ, and punish and kill his. For Isaac, when Abraham took his son to, to, to bring as an offering to God, there is, was a lamb. And Isaac escaped uh, uh, to, to be slain. But when Jesus came on this earth, there is, was no way out. Because sin required to be punished, to be killed. When our sins, discretions, required punishment, judgment, and flood Again, to be punished when clouds and lightning try to threat our life. For his children, for us, God said to Noah, in that you will see as a judgment, but for you, I mercy put above the judgment. I put rain bow, bow in cloud in many bright colors in many in many cases we are deserved maybe not not personally but from generation there is no such a suffering where is no roots in sin there is no such a calamities where is no roots god himself is good and only goodness comes from God. But all suffering comes from devil, from demon. Because devil has opened doors in our life. And he brings this, this, this judgment. But God spoke to Noah. When you will see again dark clouds. Terrible diagnosis. Bankruptcy. Shortage. When you will see again family curse, remember, I put, it's not your decision. God, God said, it's my personal decision. You cannot reach the clouds to install over there, over there rainbow bow. I do myself. God himself installed rainbow in the area of storm, tornado, your disease, your calamity, your soul, your, your shortage. Not, it was not really your desire. It was personally God's desire. These bright colors in dark area installed. And show for us way out. That way out is right now here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter how dark your hour right now. It doesn't matter how big storm and tornado shaking your home. Maybe as a house of Job. God still alive. Redeemer is alive today. And he himself installed rainbow as a way to escape. And in escape in the life of brightness. Your time of escape is today, right now. That's brightness. That's a cross of Calvary. When you go through this door, new life in colors. You, your life will, ne will not, not, never be the same 
from this time when we prayed today.